Hey everyone, Spirit Cherokee here. Today I am opening up an XY Flash Fire booster box. And this will be the first of two booster boxes, as well as the first part of two for this booster box. I know, it's gonna be fun. So, lots and lots of videos. So, yeah, it will be four videos all up two for this one, two for the second one. So, um, yeah. Let's get into it. Um, I already took the plastic off this one. Um, because, yeah. Taking the plastic off on video kind of looks really bad sometimes. But I left the uh, my other one with the plastic on, so you guys can watch me, you know, take forever to get into the second booster box. Alright, so, oh, it's... Uh, there we go. There we go. Look, it's all pretty. Alright, so... Um, I have no idea what half that was from. Alright, so there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. There we go. So, there we go. First half. We'll go from the right. And, yeah. Let's get into it. Um, I know in all my other booster box openings, I have been giving away code cards, but, um, I'm not going to with these two boxes, because I really need the code cards, um, for testing online, sorry. So, I, I apologise now. <laughs> I really do. Um, probably whenever I do some future booster openings, I, um... If I have everything, I will start giving away code cards then. But until then, I'm sorry guys, you're out of luck. Alright, so we have a Ponyta. A Sneasel. A Seedot. A Scrope. Scraggy. Ooh, nice, a Reverse Shift Tree. Then a normal Butterfree, right? Then an Avalug. A Maractus and a Metapod. So the shift tree was actually a rare, so it was a um, rev rare, rev rare. <laughs> that's great. So you know, it's not too bad. It's not too bad of a start. So I'll put. I'll, I don't know. I'll start making a pile down here, and I'll start making a pile of. Not that you can really see on camera, but I'm making a pile of rares and a pile of reverses. All right, so. Yeah, we'll get into the next one. Um, as you'd know from my pre-releases, they have a Mega Charizard X, a Mega Charizard Y, a Pyro, and a Mega Kangaskhan on the cover of these. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure you're more interested in what's inside the packaging, not what's on it. So we have a Stunky. We have a Dusclops. We have a Flabebe. One of two Flabebe's, I should say. This is the Aromatherapy one. A Pineco. A Centret. Oh, nice. A Reverse Dust Skull. And... Oh, nice. A Hollow Carbine Carrera. Carbine? Carbine? One or two. Then a Luxio. A Maractus. And a Nuzleaf. Well, that's a lot better. Well, I suppose it's kind of on par. The first one actually did have two rares in it, technically. And I'm putting those on the wrong piles. Alright. Let's get into the next one. Yay! Yep. I have to admit, the Flash Fire cards are, like, the packs are a lot harder to get into than the previous ones. Not sure why. But Kind of a little bit of a pain. Alright. So we have a Sphere. A Caterpie. I like these um, new Caterpies. It has adaptive evolution and so does the Metapod. So if you have a Caterpie, a Metapod and a Butterfree in your starting hand, you can evolve straight up to that Caterpie in your first go. And if you have a Mill Tank on your bench, with for one energy, it's doing 80 straight up. So... I have heard of a lot of people 
contemplating doing a butterfree milk tank deck and calling it buttermilk. And I think that's really awesome. But it still makes me think of pancakes. Alright, so we have Boneary, a Buizel, Sandile, ooh, nice, a Reverse Maractus, and a Rare Snorlax. He's so cute. He's got his pros and cons. Like, he is now 130 hit points, you know, that's pretty chunky for a basic. And he does do 120. But, yeah, Sleepy Press, not so good. Lots of energy. And you have to roll two dice to try and wake him up. So he's cool, but not good. And then we have Pokemon Center Lady. I'm actually, I really should put my trainers to the side. And then a Dusclops. And a Nuzleaf. Although I think that's actually the first trainer we've gotten out of three cards. Out of three cards. Out of three packs. Just going to double check. Sorry. Yeah, no, that's our first trainer out of three. That's a... Uh, a little off-putting. I really hope this isn't a dud box. Like, with all my research, people are getting between 4 and 6 um, EXs, Full Arts, Megas out of these boxes, and usually they're getting at least 2 Full Arts. Like, I've seen, on average, I've been seeing people get 2 Full Arts, 1 Mega, whether it's secret or normal, and three EXs. I'm hoping that I get the six. I really am. Alright, so we have Fletchling, a Shinx, a Sandile, a Seedot, a Pidgey, a Reverse Luxio, and a Fortress Rare. Then we have a Just Clops, Pidgeotto, and a Starting Megaphone. Yay! Those are awesome. I actually do need another one of those for my deck. Alright, so put those to a side. I know this video is going to take a lot, a lot longer than my usual ones, but it's the whole thing. I'd rather start organising it now. I'm sorry. You guys get to be very bored for a couple of seconds between packs. Alright. Let's hope we get a EX or something soon. Centret. Now this is the other Lit Leo. See? It's, you know, three. Like, it's great because you set yourself up for Pyro. But you kind of don't want to have your Lit Leo as your main fighter. Even though it's got seven hit points, it's not too bad. And Combustion does do 60. It's still not enough to get out an EX. Well, maybe a Genesect if you got a silver bangle on it, but it's a bit touchy. Then you got Gumi, an Esper, a Binnacle, a yay, a reverse Gumi. I still think it's really cute. I really do want to work with the Gumi line. And then, oh nice, actually, I'm happy with that. And then a Hollow Dradigan with Revenge. So if someone knocks out, like say a Rayquaza, knocks out one of your Pokemon, and you've got your energy on Dradigan. Bring Dradigan up. Does 90 damage. By 2. Knocks that Rayquaza out. He goes curse splat very quickly. Unless he has something like a hard charm on. Which <laughs> no one runs. And then we got a Roserade. A Furfru. And a Krokorok. No trainer again. I swear I've got the dud box. Of course I do. God forbid I actually get an awesome um, box opening. Alright. On to the next one. I actually think I might move these up a little bit. Keep hitting them. They're going to just, you know, topple over soon. Alright. And Esper. God, I love that thing. Then a Spritzy. I do like the new Spritzy. It's a lot better than the old one. Like, you know, healing a po like a low level Pokemon, it just, yeah, didn't make any sense. Although I do prefer the other one. I like Flop. It was fun. But the new one with the two energy is Fickle Attack. You know, flip a coin if tails, the attack does nothing. So, yeah. Good and bad. 
All right, there's the two Leo, then Sneasel. There's the other for Bebe with a razor leaf and silver aromatherapy. Ooh, nice, a reverse blacksmith. I shall take that. And then just a normal rare wall Ryan. Ooh, nice, a magnetic storm. A Celio. Ooh, and a Lysander. The first Lysander. I'm actually going to make a little pile of Lysander because, yeah, he's one of the hardest trainers to get at the moment, and everyone wants him. Like, we'd prefer the full arts, don't get us wrong, but we'll take what we can get. Because if we have no other supporter on our hand, and we can take an easy knockout and bring up something like, I don't know, a Squirtle in a Blastoise deck, knock it out before it gets to Blastoise, we pretty much will. You know, we're evil like that. Alright. On to another... Um, uh, I really do hope I get something from this first half. Like, what, I have two, four, six, eight, ten, about eleven left. This is, what, oh, I can't do math today. This is like our six packet. <laughs> yeah, alright, so Fletchling, Phoebus, or Phoebus, Pidgey, for Bebe, a Helioptal. Ooh, nice, a reverse dust noir. Very pretty. And then just a normal weevil. Then a magnetic storm. A torkoal. Ooh, nice, and another startling megaphone. I'll take that. <laughs> I'll definitely use that. If I don't use it, I'll put it up for trades. Because I know there's a few people that are looking for them. Alright. Come on, let's have something good. We need something awesome. Alright. Litleo. Gumi. A Skorelp. A Ponyta. A Banieri. Ooh. A Reverse Caterpie. Oh, and a Gudra. Hello, Gudra. Hello. A hole is better than nothing. A Roserade. There's that adaptive uh, Metapod. And then another Torkoal. Okay, well it's better than just getting a stock standard rare. You know, that's not even foily, but still, not good. Alright, maybe Pyro will give us something awesome. Maybe, maybe. <coughs> With my luck, all the good stuff's going to be in the second half. Alright, C dot. A Skrulp, a Shinx, a Scraggy, Pineco, or Pineco, however you want to say it. Oh, nice, a Reverse Scraggy. And then a Fleetzel, oh well, that's just a standard rare. Then a Fluet, this is one of two Fluets, the other one is actually a rare, this is just the standard uncommon, with Petal Blizzard and Razor Leaf. Oh, nice, a Protection Cube, which works really well with the Fire uh, Mega Charizard. Stops him taking the 50 damage in return. Ooh, and a Power Pad. Power Pad's awesome. It allows you to shuffle two supporters from your discard pile back into your deck. So, you know, you can get those Lysanders um, shuffling back through. So you really only need, like, a maximum of two Lysanders if you've got a Power Pad in there. God, I have cards sliding all over the place. Not that you can see. Probably a good thing. Alright, maybe a Mega Kanga! Hey, a Mega Kanga and a Mega Kanga. Yeah, that'd be pretty nifty. Alright. Getting a little bit disheartened here, actually. Alright, Helioptile, a Pidgey, a Caterpie, a Bergmite, a Phoebus. Ooh, nice, a Reverse Rapidash. That's awesome. And a Milotic Hollow. And then Fluid. Ooh, a Pokemon Fan Club, which allows you to search for two basics and put them into your hand instead of putting them in, into your um, bench. And then a Love Disc. 
really hoping to, you know, get a reverse Lysander, actually. That'd be nice. Actually had someone get a reverse and a normal Lysander in one pack, which was cool. Alright. Mm, getting low. A Helioptar. Ponyta. Binnacle. Weasel. A Spritzy. Oh, nice. A reverse Helioptar. And a Durantra. Okay. A Metapod. Mel Tank. Ooh, and nice, a Sacred Ash, which allows you to shuffle five Pokemon from your discard pile back into your deck. It's really good if you're running um, low basics. Good way to get them back in. Wow, okay, I'm, I'm uh, yeah, what, two, three, four, five, six, seven! Seven boosters go. And, yeah, we've gone like, nothing. Wow, I don't like this box. Alright, hopefully it's all in the second half. Fingers crossed. Alright, we have Shinx. Spritzy. A Lit Leo. Dust Skull. A Fletchling. Ooh, nice. A Reverse Magnetic Storm. And... A um, Meowstic yeah, Rare. Just normal. Then a Fiery Torch. A Sligoo. And a Furfru. I'm so trying not to have, you know, really depressing tone of voice. Every time I open a packet and see nothing. Alright, let's keep going. We'll get there. We'll get something. We will. We'll get at least one thing in this first half. Quite flip. Alright. So, Bergmite. Pineco. Sphiel. Baneary. A Caterpie. Ooh, nice. A Reverse Baneary. And... Ay! Pyro! Okay. I don't care about EXs, but... <laughs> that is... Yeah. I need that. I need... No now I need now two more Pyro out of this box. That'd be cool. That is awesome. A Reverse Pyro would be nice. And then a Fiery Torch. An Avalug. And a Sneasel. I shall... Yeah, I definitely shall take this Pyro... Do you need those? Alright. There we go. Mega Kangaston! See, we did end up getting something decent from this half. Alright. Sea Dot. A Scrump. Scraggy. A Flabebe. Stunky. Ooh, nice. A reverse Florges. That's a rare. Oh, Hannah, normal Golem. Rare Golem, I should say. A Graveler. Mill Tank. And a Rapidash. It's a little bit disappointing from the previous one. Alright, put those there. Getting extremely low on this half. Litleo, Sandile, Bergmite, Stunky, Geodude, ooh nice, a Reverse Weaver, that's a Reverse Rare, and then a Pidgeot Rare, then Pidgeotto, ooh a Pokemon Fan Club, and a Celio. Put that there, put that there, put that there, alright, three left, not looking good. I seriously think I have the dud box. There's always that one. And apparently I've got it. Alright, we have Pineco. Boisel. Centret. Sphiel. Scraggy. Yay! A reverse license. I'll take that. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, and then. Oh. A Heliolus. Rare. A Palpad. Sneasel. And a Pokemon Center Lady. So I think it set up really well, and then it kind of went poopy. Yeah. Alright. Oh, second last one for this half. Alright. 
Sneasel, Esper, Stunky, Roselia, Duskull, a reverse scroll. Wow. Okay, I'll take that. That is a... It's not a secret rare, but I'll still take it. So this is one of the two Mega Charizard EXs. This is the Dragon one, as you can tell. And down here, it's actually weak to Fairy. So, a lot better than being weak to all those other dragons. So, something, take out the dragons and, yeah, be a little bit immune for a while. Um, its ability is Wild Blaze, so it takes two fire, a dark, and two colorless. And it does 300. But the downside is you have to discard the top five cards of your deck. So unless you have supporters that will help you get those cards back into your deck, probably not your best bet. Then, ooh, nice, an Ultra Ball. A Fletchinder. And a Luxio. Hey, at least we got one awesome thing out of this half. I'll take that. I really will. I just want... Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just going to quickly... Yeah, sleeve up all the really, really awesome stuff that this half has delivered. Well, what I think is awesome anyway. Alright, put that there, put that there. Alright, the last one. Come on! Full art. Give me a full art. That'll be great. You know, the last two packs of um, what seemed to be a dud half, giving me a Mega Charizard and a full art. That would be cool. Or at least another Pyro. I'll take that. I'll take a reverse Pyro. Alright, Geodude. Flebebe. Stunky. Roselia. A Binnacle. There we go. <laughs> I called it. A reverse Pyro. And, 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 oh. A Scrafty Rare. A Protection Cube. Avalog. And a Fletchinder. I shall take that reverse Pyro. Means I just need one more pyro. My, and that's yeah, almost completed um, my stuff. All right, so to recap, we did get a normal pyro and a reverse. We got a normal Lysander and a reverse, and then. We got the standard Dragon Mega Charizard EX, which is absolutely gorgeous. I'll take it. So that's it for the first half of this box. So, you know, like usual, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think. You reckon I might um, get something good in the second half? Or do you reckon I might have a complete dud box and that was the only thing I was going to get? Um... I'm really hoping that it isn't a dud box. I really do hope that, you know, all the good stuff is in the other half. Fingers crossed, people. And I will see you on the um, on part two of this um, booster box opening. Hope you guys have an awesome weekend, and I'll see you next time. Bye.